Hi everyone, Lord Crew here and welcome to my channel. So the topic uh, for today is about the, a, a, a meta deck and it's called uh, Tempo uh, Spell Boost. So without further guys, uh, let's proceed. So as you can see guys, I call it Tempo uh, Spell Boost because I believe there are like two kinds of uh, Tempo uh, deck here around. Uh, number one is one of it is like the tempo aggro and the other one is uh, this kind of build of uh, deck tempo spell boost now what's the difference between the tempo aggro and the tempo spell boost uh, uh, it's very simple guys the aggro the tempo aggro means they rely on creatures for the early rounds to do damage and then use their spells to control the board and that's usually the tempo uh, where the tempo the tempo is right like you use a spell to always gain the, the tempo or the momentum while you're building your board one at a time. Now, what's the uh, the other tempo, guys? Uh, the tempo spell boost, guys, is relying on all the spell damage, guys, or the spells to control the board and then later on use spell damage to kill your opponent. Not by attacking, but uh, using a massive spell damage. Boost, massive spell damage. Because it was like uh, boosted, like by by one of the card. Like okay, so now on the tempo aggro, you will notice that how do you figure out if your opponent is tempo aggro or tempo spell boost? Number one, if your opponent has like those flying carpets and only spell so uh, only spell sword, because those was like their majority their creatures that can deal uh, uh, a, a damage. Also, guys, you either use to control the board or either uh, use uh, a mass, especially the only spell sword. Like the more the more spell I play. The, the bigger it uh, the bigger strength it gets and also it adds war ward to other of your creature right and technically the tempo aggro has lots of creature compared with the spell boost now how about the spell boost guys uh, as you can notice here on the uh, on the deck composition guys I have like a shadow scryer and assistant alchemist just like to for early board presence to control the board guys and as you can notice guys, uh, I don't have like only spells, uh, only spell sword. Uh, and the thing is, uh, my end game, guys, is to use Wimbred, monitor uh, Monolith of Storms, and Epiphany to do a a a, a spell damage, guys, to, to my opponent. And then also boost that one. Either use Scepter of Artistry, Wall of Lightning, or the Strict Conjurer, guys. So that's like the play style. Okay, early. Uh, early round, control the board using spells or creature. And then on the finale one, uh, use your big heavy uh, spell boost damage. Like Windbreath, Monolith, and Epiphany. Now, uh, guys, like uh, what make magic special nowadays, right? So as you can notice, uh, magic became uh, popular uh, way back in uh, uh, last year and up to now because of like the, uh, the card draw ability. The main reason why it's getting... Uh, uh, popular and getting stronger it's not about the spell boost or not about the spell it's about the card draw okay so the main advantage is that the magic deck like the tempo magic deck has like four cards that able capable of to do card draw uh palace of one and uh vortimir the volatile and also the all seeing uh, all seeing spire especially this all seeing spire they buffed these guys a uh, few months ago where instead of like uh, four casting costs they make it three casting costs and imagine guys on turn turn you have like this uh, uh capability to every end of turn you will have to draw and this is like a good card especially against uh war uh against uh, la uh, uh light because those uh deck has like no they have they rely on creatures and weapon to kill a creature guys right like those two gods and they have like a spell uh a spell that can destroy creature but that is like a, a a low chance guys like it's like uh rare so for example for war they can use auric rush or carnage sweep guys so technically if you play this one against any order card you play against light and uh, uh war guys it's like uh it's hard for them to kill it guys so as you can see and as you can see guys uh, uh because of the card draw guys uh, what will happen is like every time I use spell to kill. So, for example, my opponent casts a creature. I will kill it with one spell. Means uh, I have like one is to one. Uh, uh, one card to kill his one card. 
now because every turn I managed to get two cards, so it will be advantage for me uh, to control the board, guys. Okay, so that was like uh, that's makes sense, right? Uh, because one of the weakness of magic, if I keep amusing my spell, I might run out cards soon, and I might like like no way now to uh, uh, defeat my opponent, right? Even though he has like one card in the board, every time I draw, I use it the one to kill his newly played creature, guys. So it's like a uh, it's like a uh, it's like a a untempo, okay? So that's why uh, a card draw is the very important. Uh, cards here in the tempo magic guys and if you're gonna ask me what will be the mulligan always look for the card draw guys uh, second always go for your early uh creature remover like stardust and uh black and bolt some of your one casting costs guys just like to control the early board guys uh especially early board now better to use the uh stardust and 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 the star shard and tracking bolt at the very beginning because this is only uh, damage to a creature and save sometimes your ancient ancient text or formal power later on because it will add additional damage later on uh on the late game to kill more your opponent okay guys so use these two cards uh control the board uh, use your god power to control the creature and then and if you manage to get now your card draw mechanics it will be like uh uh, you will have like a never-ending uh, a card now, guys. So every time you use one spell to opponent, you get two cards. Okay, so uh, that's it, guys. So, uh, what are the uh, good matchups for Magic, guys? I noticed like uh, a good matchup is versus War, guys. Uh, versus uh, Magic also, or any control deck, guys. Any control deck, like uh, and. The main reason why why control deck because the thing is control deck are also slow means I have like enough time for me to prepare my deck my 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 tempo uh, draw cards and also prepare for my spell massive spell damage later on guys and that's like the uh, this is like a good counter also for board wipe deck and also for uh, war control guys and even to uh, even to a even to a uh, magic versus magic, guys. So that's what, like, I noticed, guys. This deck, this tempo spell boost are good for control deck. Good versus war because of, like, uh, he has, like, no answer with... They have, like, difficulty time to kill the order creature, like Demetrios, uh, the all-seeing spire, guys. And high chance they might run out of card because they don't have, like, a card draw mechanics also. So they might run out of card while you gaining a lot of card using spell boost, especially if you got palace one at the very beginning, guys. And that's it. So, uh, so the next will be guys. Now it will be the playtest, guys. So guys, 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 please continue uh, watching this one and see you later, guys. So as usual, we're gonna go for a mage bolt. At Mega Bolt, Mage Bolt, uh, to do damage and board control. Uh, this is good, guys. We can like drop uh, Iron Breath. Uh, both of these are good, guys. Uh, deals two damage if we have like more. <coughs> so I wish we have like one more casting cost. So the value of this one will uh, a more. Uh, let's try if we can get one. Up again. Especially we're first turn, guys. That's the main point. You can disappoint me. Good thing, guys. He has no... He's not using. We can play this one, guys, first. So if we cast three casting costs, we use uh, Tracking Bolt. Yeah, we can use Tracking Bolt next turn. <coughs> if he has like a 2-4 or four, 4 health, we can use Star Shard. So I highly recommend get this, guys. Are we gonna go for tracking? That's enough for now. So next turn he vicas anything that is three, and this one will become a three three and uh, a three damage on turn three. We can like use that one, guys. The possibilities are endless. So the good thing, guys, is we can like cast this one. Uh, I go for defend the rampart, guys.
So we're like literally doing a, a board control, guys. The only problem we don't have card draw. <coughs> this is good, guys. Turn four deals four, guys. As you can see, turn four deals four, and we managed to get draw four, guys. And that's the advantage of having Demetrios. Uh, we can do damage, so we managed to get more. We don't still have like the. Turn 5, we can like cast this one. This looks promising. We can go for this one, guys. Okay, so we have enough mana, guys. Uh, Take this one. We can play this one. And lose five. And we will manage to draw a card. Uh, we could get another spell, guys. Spell is more important to us. Because we're like spell spell boost. <coughs> so the good thing guys we managed to control the game, guys. As you can see. Uh, we're like in good position, guys. <laughs> mm. uh, that's a lot of one. Uh, the good thing, guys, uh, we can go for uh, attack. I can't do that. We can trade. We can do the rampart, guys. So we can play this one, guys. Rampart. Like, uh, luckily, we managed to. And pull that random for seven turn. Boundaries must be respected. Oh, we can still use this one, guys, to heal. Uh, it's six turn, guys. We can play monolith, guys, and we are like out of range of the the hunt. Uh, good, good for us. We're gonna play this one now, guys. And we can like do kill three damage. Deals X damage to a creature where X is to the strength of random creature in your board. Uh, we can like kill this one, guys. We don't need technically this one guys because we have like too much draw. We can like attack. We can like grab this one now guys. We, ha we have too much uh <coughs> we can play uh next You've forgotten your roots. Two, four, six, eight. So Bortimir like uh, what do we have here? uh good for us guys. We can deal more damage now next turn. Yeah, GG guys. So, uh, next turn, uh, that 7 damage can be accompanied by another, by Wimbred, that's deal 6. And this one will become 9. The monolith guys will become 9 in strength, guys, as you can notice. 9 in strength, that's total of like 6 plus 9. That will be like a 15 damage next turn, guys. And FYI, we never add the chapter artistry yet, but we got the, the conjurer to boost, guys. So, the playstyle is simple. Control the board using one is to one, and if if uh, a must, you must have like a card draw mechanics. And lucky for us guys, he does not use a a a, a god power. To, uh, he does not use a god power to deal damage. So our Bordimir are like uh, managed to uh, give us like a lot of card power, guys. Okay, that will be it.
So our enemy is a deception, guys. Can I use Mega Bolt, guys? As a God Power. This is a must. This is used for damage and board control. Uh, I like the card here, guys. We can kill any first cast. Uh, but I will go for a card card draw, guys, if possible. Uh, well, Palace one is good for us, guys. It's like a good opening. Why I dropped the conjurer, guys? Because uh, you need it in in the mid in mid uh, level, guys. Yes, who? So good for good for us, guys. Uh, oh, we have to kill this one, guys, because it will become a four four. And we're gonna play this one, guys. We're gonna play next turn. Uh, <coughs> there's a weakened trapper, uh, trapper on the sun. Just be careful. So we're gonna go for a board control first, uh, because this one may copy one card from us. This looks promising. Uh, we're gonna confirm and get it, guys. Uh, good thing we can kill this one. And use this three damage, guys. Here. That's enough for now. So we did an early board control, guys. And the good thing is we're gonna do that for now. Next turn, the good thing is three mana. We're okay. The possibilities are endless. Ah, uh, this we can should confirm that one for now, guys. We're gonna gain favor by attacking. So that's a good favor for us. <laughs> Usually, guys, the win rate for magic against deception are very high, guys. Because as you can see, guys, everything he played, guys, even though he has order, we can kill it. He can like try to snipe this one, guys, just to remove the ward. He has no play. Uh, the good thing is we can like kill it. Uh, Okay, that's okay. I think my turn. Uh, that's another card draw, guys. We can use this one, guys. Uh, we can use this one later, but uh, for now, let's uh, do a board control, guys. I think he's trying to uh, deal damage as much as possible, but if in case he plays something next turn, he can kill either. Uh, it's okay. Uh, the good thing about those damage guys, no favor for him guys. So we, if we cannot still kill this one, we're gonna play Monolith guys. So the good thing next turn, we got the. Uh, Based on the 4C, we see the or another card draw mechanics, and that will be advantage for us. He can hide it, guys. If he hides it, we are gonna play Monolith and attack. It's okay, guys. This looks promising. Uh, one more damage. Uh, we will able to get the weekend you before him. <coughs> and as you can see, if he did not play again, guys, we're gonna go for Bortimir and Wyrmbret next turn, guys. If he did not cast anything again. We will get the weekend Trapper, guys, for sure. Uh, because we already 12. This is like 13 uh, Favor in the Sanctum, guys. So the main reason why we never not managed to get a draw because he's not playing, he's hi keep hiding his creature, guys, <coughs> for us to kill, and he does not play anything yet. So late, late, late next turn we're gonna do a damage, guys. So the good thing for this guys, we can kill it. <coughs> My 
Ancient. Uh, this is good, guys. So our our play will gonna be uh we are arranged in using. So the play style will be uh, cast this one, guys. Use this one. This way. Get the weekend proper, guys. Can kill this one, guys. Uh, he can get that one. Kill this one. That is not possible. Go seven. We're gonna draw a card. So we're gonna draw two cards, guys. <coughs> we can play artistry, guys. Does more damage later on. So we can play one spell, guys, and draw and then replace it with artistry. So we can like deal massive damage. Okay, he quit now already, guys. Because as you can see, the play style will be uh, play play one card, kill with opponent, draw a card, and then replace it with scepter of artistry. And then that's our timeline now to do a, a boost, guys. We have Street Conjurer. Uh, imagine Scepter. Drop uh, Street Conjurer, guys. And then use Scepter. That will be boost 3 now. I can use Form of Power. And then we're Breath Light like, to deal more massive damage now to opponent. Okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like the video, guys, uh, kindly please uh, uh, sub subscribe and like. And if you have like comment and suggestion, please kindly leave a comment. And... Uh, see you next week guys and thank you for watching. There's a distance between us. It's getting hard to reach out.